Hey guys, this is Internet Friend for Neat Intelligence. Uh, Longtime subscribers know I prefer not to work off a script, which leads to these really long and rambly videos. Uh, because if I read off a script, it ends up very stilted and kind of unnatural. But for today's video, like I honestly tried doing like 20 takes and I kept going off onto rambly, complainy tangents about this, that, or the other. So I apologize, but today's video is going to be off of a script. And here is the script. Hi, this is Internet Friend for Neat Intelligence. It is Sunday, January 24th, 2024, and I have three announcements for this channel. I'm going to lead with the announcements. No, I'm not going to lead with the announcements. That's not what the script ended up being. Well, let me just say the announcements, and then I'm going to read the rest of the script. Announcement one, the Neat Intelligence Daily Time Car Project will be ending this month. Announcement two is kind of wishy-washy, but the streams may be going uh, through a retooling in the next few weeks, and please expect some interruptions and awkwardness through February, if not like a hiatus as I kind of retool it. Announcement three, I'm setting up a Discord server for uh, year three of this project. Okay, now let me read the script. Announcement one, the Neat Intelligence Daily Time Card Project will be ending this month. Longtime subscribers will know that this project succeeded the Internet Frequency Squad project on my previous channel, where I both transcribed emergency action messages and also took recordings of them and uploaded daily compilations to YouTube. As a successor, because recording EAMs and editing them into daily compilations was taking like way too much time a week, like 10 to 20 hours, and most people really just want to know the number of EAMs broadcast versus actually listening to them. Uh, and believe me, I know I have the analytics. I know how many people actually you know, watch these videos the whole way through and most people didn't. Um, because of all that, I decided to make some adjustments for the Daily Time Card project. I saved myself substantial time by offloading the recordings into instead doing 24-7 streams of the HFGCS, and you, the viewer, generally got what you wanted, with Time Card showing the number of messages both in the very first frame of the video and in the thumbnail, as opposed to, you know, the overproduced videos where I was making like intros, music, and these nifty thumbnails. Uh, that was a previous format. I like doing it. Nobody was really watching it. Not nobody, but like for every 10 people who watched the video, only one of them was watching past the first 30 seconds. However, no, not however. See, I've gone off script. Um, What was I saying here? Right, so the time card project doesn't do any of that. So these are the ones where, you know, I pair the time cards with K-pop, J-pop, and occasionally C-pop. And anyone who's new to this channel, especially if you guys subscribe during the December hiatus, you are confused because you don't understand what's going on with the music. Now, longtime subscribers know that the reasons I do this are myriad. There's like a lot of reasons uh, in addition to just I think it's funny and I like the music. Uh, but if you just got here, the juxtaposition is confusing and probably you're not going to be quick enough or able to navigate the labyrinth of my mind and my rationale to really appreciate what's going on. That's not why I'm ending the project, by the way. Not even remotely why. Um, this project has gone on as long as it was because it was really the K-pop that was keeping my interest in it, not the other way around. The only reason I acknowledge this is because if you are one of these people who's recently subscribed and you're finding yourself confused and or annoyed um, by that format, honestly, part of me wants to say, like, good, you've been uh, filtered, get good pleb and get out of here. But just wait about 10 days and that's almost all over soon anyways. It's not all going to be over because it's going to change a bit. But if that alone is what's bothering you, just stick it out for again, like, you know, almost two weeks. So this format started June 23rd and with only a couple interruptions that are worth talking about, the seven month anniversary would then be like, January 23rd and this is a project where again it can be paired with the previous project and you're going to have somewhere around a year of comprehensive monitoring of the network. Running the format to January 23rd gives you a full seven months but I've decided to run it to January 25th because that happens to be the two-year anniversary of my first HFGCS recording onto the internet and therefore the start of this entire project anyways. Obviously, there are still a ton of things I don't understand about the HFGCS, and if I were to continue to monitor the way I have, I will continue to notice things that uh, intrigue me. But the longer this goes on, the less novel the observations I can make, if that makes sense. That part of the script seems weak. Like, when I started this project, every day I listened to the HFGCS, there was something new. And then the longer I monitored, you know, it would only be like every few weeks I would notice, oh, this is a 200 character message. Isn't that wild? And then, you know, you hear those often enough, that becomes routine. Then you listen for months and then you hear a uh, 
quad A message and you're like, oh my goodness, what is that? I'm still interested in those, but it doesn't make sense for me to like keep doing this daily thing of monitoring and recording and checking when it's only now every few months that I hear something that actually piques my interest. And pairing it with K-pop uh, kept it going a lot longer than it would have gone other ways, but I'm kind of at the limit of that as well. So it's it's something where at the very least I want to go on a hiatus again and a much longer hiatus than the December one because I kind of came back and I still felt like, eh, you know, I've heard all this before. Um, but I, I feel like more likely I kind of want to move away from monitoring the HFGCS on a daily basis anyways. And that's going to um, tie into announcement number two, which to go back to the script now, the other or probably the main draw of this channel is in fact those 24-7 streams of the HFGCS current format is to divide them into two 12-hour streams every day because if they run too much longer than 12 hours youtube will not archive the video at all uh, if you try and click the video link it will just say it's not accessible the other part of this format worth noting is that i currently stream using sdrs located in the u.s after january 31st if not after january 25th when the daily time card project ends some component of this format may change i haven't quite decided yet um, because there's a few moving parts, uh, a few considerations. So this is kind of a flimsy non-announcement, but basically what I'm trying to say here is if you're someone who's here for the 24-7 streams, it's probably not going to end, but some component of it may change. And just bear with, you know, after January 31st, if not a little bit sooner, after January 25th, uh, there may be some tinkering, there may be some downtime for maintenance or something along those ends. Now, I keep saying like I'm moving away from daily monitoring, but I haven't said what I'm moving towards. Uh, and that brings us to announcement number three. And what I'm moving towards is this, the Jang Wan Young Skymaster Surveillance Committee. For year three of the NEAT Intelligence Project, it is time to move to a new phase, one that will be dedicated to anticipating and monitoring Skymaster events. Part of that uh, and monitoring uh, is that I feel that this needs to be a group effort, which is why I'm setting up a Discord server to organize and uh, put this together. Now, what I just mentioned, Skymaster exercises, some of you guys don't know what those are. What those are is probably a not correct name for events on the HFGCS where hundreds of messages are sent out in a short period of time and even though they've been going on since at least 2018, they've not been very well documented. So I first captured one of these events uh, February last year when I uploaded a grand total of four messages to my channel, my previous channel, in a video where I was very cavalier and quite forward where I said, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what these are, but here they are and maybe they'll turn out to be something. A few months later in April with the assistance of a very good gentleman called Chicken Man, uh, in a uh, server in the community I no longer wish to uh, even acknowledge for uh, a few reasons. Uh, he's not there either. Uh, but we captured a little bit more traffic, uh, including traffic on the Charlie Echo window, 9031 kilohertz, which is not a primary frequency. So got a little more messages, got a little more traffic, a little more, ooh, what's this? This is interesting. Uh, and again, in August and in September, there were these events, we'll call them, where uh, the amount of messages in a relatively short period of time spiked astronomically. You kept hearing messages acknowledging the call sign or call word Skymaster. And for me, at least, the big breakthrough came uh, last week when I was both kind of anticipating a Skymaster exercise and with the assistance of the Intel Frog on Twitter uh, and here on YouTube uh, during the live stream, Jay Project showed up in the chat box unfortunately the the part he helped me out with i'm still furious about this uh something glitched out with the live stream and i lost like three hours of recordings uh but j projects helped me find out a number of uh discrete frequencies where additional messages were being broadcast and it was kind of during that where i realized okay this really is a very large scale exercise hundreds of messages are being sent out across about what was that 12 hours not even something in the avenue 1900 no zero um you know 100 oh, i need to go back on script where am i uh ta -ta, not just also while the live stream only captured a fraction of traffic i still considered a success because it felt like a blueprint for how to monitor these messages in the future so basically you know i'm i'm trying to capture all this traffic and i'm realizing it'd be good if at least a couple other people were also monitoring a few of these frequencies themselves and hopefully streaming them. 
Um, this is what I would like to see in the future. Now, the future might be only a few weeks away. So Skymaster exercises, as I just kind of alluded to, they seem to be predictable on some level. Uh, not with like psychic powers, but just a review of past documentation and observations suggests that they almost always occur on Wednesdays uh, with a little bit of cases, uh, you know, Wednesdays bleeding over into Thursdays. And I would suggest that rather than reactions to anything, you know, when I mentioned January 11th, 2024, had a high amount of traffic, people are going to assume that probably relates to uh, U.S. activity in the Middle East. However, there was a Skymaster exercise on Thursday, January 11th, 2023. Hold on. I'm off script again. Disregard what I just said. I, I need to stop going off script. Okay, this is the script. The future might be only a few weeks away. Skymaster exercises seem to be predictable on some level. A review of past documentation suggests that they almost occur on Wednesdays, almost always occur on Wednesdays, or Wednesdays bleeding over into Thursdays and are probably pre-scheduled. There was a Skymaster exercise on Wednesday, January 11th, 2023, and a Skymaster exercise on Thursday, January 11th, 2024. But if you go by U.S. time zones, it started Wednesday, January 10th, 2024. So here's the thing, and this is why I'm anticipating the next one. There was a Skymaster exercise on Wednesday, February 1st, 2023, which makes me think odds are good for a Skymaster exercise on Wednesday, January 31st, 2024, possibly leading into Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Without getting into all the weeds of this, I think my experiences of last week mean I could monitor the next event all right on my own, but I'm not interested in doing that for any for a few reasons. There's a few good reasons I don't want to do that. What I would rather do is put together a team of people who will be able to both anticipate and monitor these events, and that is why I'm setting up a Discord server. So people asked me to set up a Discord in the past, and I was never really interested. Not only do I have very little interest in monitoring such a thing, there have been a few other HFGCS dedicated servers, and they're all usually dead or dying. So I, I don't know why I would make a server like that. So that's not what it is. Instead, this is a purpose-built project-dedicated server that will be primarily focused on what I just said, Skymaster events. And it will be the organizing hub for the Jang Wan Young Skymaster Surveillance Committee, which again is the next phase of the Ning Intelligence Project. So if you are interested in joining the committee, the Discord is a start point for organization. If you're interested in observing, you can join the server for that as well. What I will say that, that's not grammar. What I will say is that, as a purpose-built Discord server, I'm not going to leave it up if there isn't a significant amount of contributing members. The goal is to have at least two or three more people who are able and interested in monitoring and recording Skymaster events before the next one starts, because otherwise the project is cancelled, the Discord is deleted, and I scrap my plan for Phase 3 of the Intelligence Project. Which means that January 31st may well end up being the decision day for what I do with the Neat Intelligence Project overall. So. Stay tuned. Why did I raise the ending of the script like that? It sounds dorky. Anyways, um, basically, guys, if you have any questions about anything the hell I just said, again, the Discord server is purpose-built, um, so hopefully you're joining for that, but if you do show up and join that server and want to ask me about stuff in general, I mean, that's fine. There is also, as always, the comments section of YouTube videos. Uh, I am present on Twitter. One other thing, if you follow me on Twitter, currently I have like the whole Twitter blue, Twitter plus, blah, blah, blah subscription thing. And that probably has had the best kind of side benefit that my posts were getting kind of prioritized in other people's timelines. I'm not renewing that uh, after January, I believe 20th is when the current subscription expires just because uh, the daily time card project is ending anyways. So I no longer feel like I need to pay to kind of circumvent YouTube's video time limit, which is what I'd kind of been paying for it. For. Anyways, again, it's you guys have to understand it was a K-pop for the last few months, so it was keeping the project going. Not not the HFGCS. I really feel like I kind of got the gist of most of it. Um, but I do still find it interesting. And, you know, the interactions I have with you guys is neat. But just in terms of motivations and stuff, I guess I am at a point where, you know, my my I may change my mind in a few months and be like, oh, you know what, that is a fun way to kill time. But going forward, there's that that's what I want to focus on next, the, the Sky Master events. These are not documented well. And I think to document them well, you do need a few people on top of it. 
So that's what I want phase three to be. It's a little bit ambitious because I can't just do it all myself. I don't want to do it all just myself. So yeah, I hope you guys are interested. I hope you guys do join the server or join the project in some way or another. Uh, and if not, again, I'm not, I'm not going to leave us. I'm in so many servers that are just dead. And it's like, why, why make another dead server, I guess? So if it doesn't take off and there's only like one person who joins and he's just lurking and he doesn't know how to use an SDR and he doesn't know how to record and then, you know, that'll kind of decide what's next. But uh, I need to now edit this video, which is now going to be 20 minutes long. What the hell? No, I'm going to cut that down.